Social security is one of those things that everybody continues to talk about, but why? Is it because we're going to see a massive increase? Is it because that 3.2% cost of living adjustment for 2024? Or is it because Congress still hasn't done anything for social security reform to ensure that the social security trust fund remains solvent past 2034? Well, it's actually a mix of all those things. And it actually brings up to question are social security recipients getting the cost of living adjustment that they absolutely need? Some say no. Here's what we do know. In 2023, the social security trust fund paid out about $1.4 trillion to over 67 million social security recipients. That's a decent amount of money. Well, the 3.2% cost of adjustment is going to add about $47 billion onto that total for 2024. Some say this is going to cause the Social Security Trust Fund to become insolvent much sooner, which brings up the question, when is Congress going to act? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today and what the plan potentially is, what the most likely outcome is for Social Security. So make sure you stick around for all that. I will address all those questions and all your concerns in today's video. If you have any other questions as well, ask your questions down in the comment section below, but let's get started. So over the past couple of years, we have seen two of the largest cost of living adjustments for social security in the past 20 plus years. What we have seen, we saw a 5.9% cost of living adjustment two years ago. This year, we got a 8.7% cost of living adjustment. And now in 2024, starting on January 1st, or technically uh, December, I believe 29th, we're gonna start to see recipients get their 3.2% cost of living adjustment. Social security accounts for about 5% of our gross domestic product. So the United States relies on people getting this money in order to redistribute it throughout the United States. But here's the thing. How can we keep this program solvent? That's the big question. Well, according to multiple experts, there is only one way to really keep this program solvent. And it's not just increasing taxes and it's not cutting expenses, right? You have to do a mix of both things. Now, if we just increase taxes, is it possible? The answer is yes. According to one report, it is more than possible to, to increase taxes to accommodate for this, this loss, okay? Because again, the Social Security uh, uh, Administration is sending out more money than they bring in. Their revenue has to increase. So how much would taxes need to increase? Well, this is where things get tricky because if we increase taxes too much, let's say for Social Security, Right now, you are required to pay 6.2% of your income. Your employer has to pay 6.2% of your income as well, which comes up to 12.4%. That's just for Social Security. You still gotta pay for Medicare. You still gotta pay your taxes, right? All these things are still you know, unaccounted for. But if we increase taxes too much, the problem is that reports indicate that as we increase our tax rate, employment comes down. So we may increase taxes, but less people work, which means there's still less money coming into the Social Security Trust Fund. This is why they say we cannot just keep increasing taxes. Now we can tax a different group, for example, millionaires, billionaires, large corporations. We can ensure that large corporations are not you know, finding loopholes to get out of paying their, their fair share in taxes. We can ensure that you know, millionaires and billionaires are also paying anything over the $160,200 that is the cutoff with the social security tax cap in 2023. We can do that. But again, trying to get those approved within our current Congress is going to be rather difficult. One, we don't have a Speaker of the House. Two, the Republican Party holds the majority in the House and in the Senate, the Democratic Party holds the majority. So getting those two, those two chambers to pass the same bill would be almost impossible. Now, here's what experts believe is our most likely option. 
and this is not going to extend the solvency to 2050. It's not going to push us out to 2075 or even further. But what is now being discussed is the only option to ensure that Social Security's trust fund doesn't become insolvent within the next 10 years is to raise the full retirement age. Now, how would this work? Well, let's say you're 50 years old. You would not be impacted by this. Even though it's going to happen in the next 10 years, we start to raise the full retirement age. According to experts, what we would need to do is we would need to raise the full retirement age to age 70. Okay, That's three years. If we raise it to age 70, this would be the first time we have raised this. I believe it was voted on like uh, 19, I think 1983, which is when it passed. It didn't start to, we gradually increased the full retirement age from age 65 up to age 67. That happened starting, I believe, in, two, uh, in the year 2000, I think. Okay, so again, it's taken a little bit. But according to experts, they say that Congress needs to get around to addressing this. And when they do, this will probably be their first move to increase the full retirement age, age 67 to age 70. Now, what would this mean to you? Like I said, if you're age 50, this wouldn't apply. They're looking at people that are aged like 30 to 35, maybe even younger, okay? The, again, I believe 30 to 35 is probably the, the sweet spot here. Maybe age 40 being that that would give you an extra 30 years to, to really uh, grow and, and put money aside for retirement and for social security and maybe you know, your pension or whatever, right? So that's where things are at. They, they're trying to figure out two numbers. One, how high can they push the full retirement age? And number two, where would they have that cutoff? Is it age 40? If that you're over the age of 40, that you would not see your full retirement age go to age 70. It would stay at age 67. And maybe at age 35, uh, it goes to you know 68, you know 32, 69, age 30, right? And so on, you get the idea, it just moves around. That's what some are discussing. Now, I could tell you that, you know, social security is going to be addressed and things are going to be perfect and, you know, this world's going to be great and don't worry, your money is safe. But that's not necessarily true. I don't know what's going to happen with social security. All I'm telling you is what I'm reading out in the media. Okay, what I see from Reuters and Bloomberg and the Washington Post and uh, right, all these different, you know, CNBC, all these different, you know, news outlets and you know, interviews from you know, lawmakers, from you know, representatives and from senators and you know, all these people that are pushing some type of social security reform. I, I, can, I can tell you what you know, I think is going to happen, which is essentially what, what I just said. Both these things need to happen. According to experts, just raising the full retirement age does absolutely nothing. It doesn't work. Just increasing taxes on a small group of people, right? You know, five to 10 million people, could it work? Yes, but the amount of taxes, the, the, the tax rate increase that we would have to implement would be so big, lawmakers wouldn't approve it. So both things have to happen. We have to increase our, our taxes, the tax revenue we're bringing in for social security. That's one. The second thing, we have to increase the full retirement age because over the course of 30, 40 years, it's gonna bring down the cost. Not not a lot, but a little bit and enough to at least hold off the, the potential insolvency. So that's what we're hearing this morning. I know it's not a not a huge uh, you know discussions about increases and all that, but based off what experts are telling us is that over the course of about a three year span, from a, from uh, 2020, 2021, 2022, okay. That, that three years, the social security cost living adjustment has fallen short by about $1,050, okay, in a three year span. That's why some are saying we need to address this because we can address the cost living adjustment, the formula that's calculated based off of, which right now 
I don't think it's going to be changed. Second thing, uh, address the, the full retirement age. And the third thing, address taxes. So that's what's happening right now. Just want to give you a quick little update regarding Social Security, what's going on and what lawmakers are discussing and have been discussing for some time. As we get more information, I promise I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.